Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for more One Piece the Anime. Today we're gonna be checking out episodes 87, 88, and 89. Last week's set of episodes kind of brought us through Chopper's backstory, and my lord, was that a heartbreaking little tale. The poor little guy. That all seemingly has wrapped up, and now we have Wapple there at the castle to deal with. So let's see what happens next, guys. If you want to see the full three reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Gummy Marvel channel, get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for reaction the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote what movies to react to each month. We got month QAs, behind the scenes footage to try to make it worth your while. So you are going to everybody's support channel. But guys, then they really appreciate and enjoy this reaction. Please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Huge shout out to the team over at Prepper for helping me edit on these highlights for you guys here on YouTube. With that all said, LOA, let's get ready to jump into episode 87. Here we go. Aww. That's sweet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Let's go, Luffy. Beat his ass. Oh. God damn. Knock him right off of this mountain. Chopper's face. Oh, so close. Damn, knocked a whole on tooth out. I mean, this is just the second time, right? For you guys, at least. Oh, well, no. Third time for Luffy. Forgot about that. But now, he doesn't have anyone he's got to carry in the middle of this or protect. Unload. Unleash upon them, Luffy. <laughs> Don't remind him, he'll realize he's cold. That's not how that works, man. And there it is. He just realized he's cold again. <laughs> the disrespect is much deserved. <laughs> Who is he recapping for? Them? They've been here the whole time. Did he need to remind himself after getting his fucking skull rocked? Oh. Uh... And you led him into this trap and preyed upon his willfulness to help others, even at his own detriment and sacrifice. Oh my god. One Piece and their villains, man. It's... God. What? <laughs> I still love his whole speech, the one he's given now about what true death is, how it's not just simply the death of the body, but when there's absolutely nothing of you left, including memory, as long as you're remembered, you still live. Dude, somebody shut this fucker up. <laughs> Try it. Friendly fire! Friendly fire activated! Oh shit, they fucking... 
Oh! God damn, nice block there, Sanji. How dare you throw your afro at a lady? It's just rude to throw your fucking hair at somebody like that. Oh, 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 um, what the hell? Oh, shit, he still got, wait, so he still has one on his fist, too, to grow back? Okay, you got some tricks up, well, on your sleeve, I guess, technically on your fist. Glove? Glove. Hey, that's rude. <laughs> oh. oh What the Marimo's static cling I mean it's just hair right my god, dude, it's like when you're trying to get like those little styrofoam pieces from packing or like the little like slivers of plastic wrap and it just, you can't get rid of it. It just stays on your finger no matter what you do. Did he just say burns flashily? Get that word out of your mouth. You are not buggy. But he's right, hair does burn. Wow, what a two for these two might make. Damn. Um, he's not rubber. He's not rubber. He's not rubber. Oh, let's go. Gum shoot. Yo, we're in team attack, buddy. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. Wapo could have killed him. Oh, the poor hippo. God, he's gone. Munch Munch Factory. One buttered sauteed cannon. Cannon ball and gunpowder salad. What? We can see food soon becomes my blood and flesh. Does it mean he can? Is he like Kirby? Whatever he eats, he can turn into? Apparently, he just drew a cannon out of his head. What the fuck? <laughs> Luffy's just like, sweet! That's cute! Oh. Um... <laughs> uh, well? He's gonna add them to his artillery? Come out, Miraculous Union. Wait. <laughs> Luffy is still impressed somehow. But yeah, it's, what? It does look like it's literally just the one riding the other's shoulders though. Some Venture Brothers shit right there, man. Do they really need to be eaten to do that? This dickhead, man. Well, at least the flag's intact. The pole just came down, at least. Don't have to make a new one. Oh, shit! Oh, nice! Use of his, uh, size. <sighs> He's gonna hesitate because of that. Here Luke was really such a good dude in the end, even if he was turning people into lizards. <laughs> this son of a bitch. Oh, Luffy fixed the flag. With Nami's jacket, though. 
Oh god, he tore off a sleeve of Nami's jacket. Oh, I'm sure she'll understand. Oh, that is a badass sight. Mm -hmm. Nope, send it right back. It's a cannonball, and it's Luffy. It's He's fine. I did get singed a little bit, though. Oh, God. Yes, it is, Chopper. Feast your eyes on a true pirate. Oh. What a good way to end it. The skull is a sign of faith. Damn. Luffy's out here just cooking. Almost literally, too, because he is kind of a little sautéed by that fucking cannonball he took through the face. But man, let's go. Let's go. He sees the flag and he's like, all right, anybody brave enough to put that up, you got my respect. It just switched that part of his brain on and got him serious. Once they started to talk down to, misrepresent, disgrace that idea. That's how you piss them off. Especially considering they were just waving their own around willy-nilly like it didn't matter. And like they said, it didn't matter. Uh, it's just something we're deciding to do until we're done with it. Eh. Yeah, fake pirates, 1,000%. Fake king, really, at the end of the day. So fuck this guy. I wonder like what Vivi and them are doing right now, though. Because I would like to see... Not that I would expect her to get into the fray, but I would like to have her unload, maybe verbally, on this guy before we physically fuck him up. But man, here Luke is just like, he's such, I don't know, he's such an endearing little character, man. The impact that he left on Chopper, the legacy that he's got here that's still carrying on despite his attempts at fulfilling his own dreams or even just being a doctor for that matter. I just, I really liked seeing all of that. And then that team up move with Sanji and Luffy. <sighs> gum gum shoot. Whew. Huh. Let's go. It was so good. But yeah, man, this guy's basically Kirby. He can eat anything. And then he can also take what he eats and like incorporate aspects of it into his physical being. I thought for a second, he was like, let me show you the true power of the Munch Munch fruit. I thought he was going to also still a Kirby thought that came into my mind was I thought he was going to like make like the void, like the suction thing. Like he's going to open his mouth and just like inhale things into his bottomless abyss of a stomach. So this dude just eats raw material. What like does he crave or does that just, he need these extreme like substances to satiate his now grown hunger or does it even really matter? I, I like that though, but because he ate, gunpowder, cannonballs, and a cannon. He basically turned into a human fortress. And then he ate his minions and basically pooped them out of his of his stomach, though. He has a door in his stomach for some reason. Combined them, I guess. is That's the implication. Chess Marimo or whatever they called him. And it, but like they said, it just looks like one on top of the other. Are they actually combined? What benefit is there to actually combine these two? It honestly doesn't seem like much of one. And does our Afro guy also have a devil fruit? And what's the deal with his, his hair and the static electricity? Maybe it's just simply that, but he like can pull off as much as he wants. And even the glove that he shot out, it instantly was back. Maybe it's just another one of those weird magical one piece abilities that isn't devil fruit related but it's just fantastical meanwhile chess is just literally an archer over here skilled though as he may be but still just just an archer that's kind of all i got for this one let's go ahead and move on to episode 88 here we god luffy is such a badass when he gets into these modes man See, he did want you to go out there one of these days. Oh, what? He's still not... Oh! He's still not ready to be in the fight.
I guess he's uh done with the uh the no violence approach. Mm. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. Tonagai. Oh my eyes, so she's not a little guy. Not to go to me. But not. Jack, you married on a or in a idea. Nice. Divide them. And conquer. Again, is that a reference to something? Like the Tony Tony Chopper? It doesn't ring a bell to me. It feels like it should be like a, a reference to something. Or, I, I don't know. Rumble Ball. What? Hey, what are they doing here? これを救いたくば家通りにしろ。わしたちだって医者なんだ。ワボルたちの強さに in three minutes. But what does it do? Oh. Oh, that's nifty. Uh, oh. Walk point leg boost. Oh, that looked like it was halfway between his human form and his reindeer form. Yeah, dude. Oh, whoa. Oh, you can freely manipulate his entire body. Is that only thanks to the pill, though? Ah, oh, there it is. Seven form transformations. God damn. <laughs> oh, he's in love. He's leaving himself open. Good job, Luffy. Dude, that is fucking sweet. Oh, good God, that chunky arm. Dude, let's go. His hooves can smash even rocks. Oh. Shit. Oh, yo, look at him just shifting in and out of his forms like that. That is so fucking sweet. Oh, what the hell? Analyzing. Oh, what the fuck? Was he using Shatterpoint? I don't care what he says, it's definitely a beam. It's not a beam. Guarantee it's not a beam. He's just analyzing them. Luffy, you have a you have your own opponent right now, man. I mean, I think that's a lot of people's weak spot. Yeah, where the hell did he go? Is he gonna come up from the- Yes! Dude, give him that good old Naruto clock to the jaw. 
Hell yeah. Let's go. No. But no one has been keeping an eye on Wapple. He literally just walked past all of you. No. Her heart's just too big. <laughs> oh, saying it how it is, Zoro. I love Zoro so much, man. <laughs> Someone please tell me who the fuck this guy is. Does he mean that literally, or... Like, does something actually happen if he makes it inside the walls? Aww. Oh my god, just give him to Zoro. He could one-hand this guy. I appreciate the effort, Usopp, but like, this isn't gonna work. God, I love Zoro in that outfit, though. Usopp, stop! What are you doing? Mm. Is that the one the chopper left up, or a brand new one? God, you guys. How did she not do anything about him passing? Like, he literally walked right past her. <laughs> Friend. So cute. Okay, then. Um, not a lot to add in this episode. I'll say Chopper, uh, in, like, taking a fight seriously. And with that, Rumble Ball? Holy shit, that was fucking awesome. Like, just the, down to the animation and the creativity and his form changing and how that was utilized during the fight was so good. And just these little emotionally charged moments with Luffy, you know, declaring his friendship, declaring his stance, and then showing his resolve and uplifting Chopper, motivating him and giving him this boost. It was just really well done. And just, the, again, the way that they utilized his ability to extend beyond the traditional three forms and find these ways to mix and match and change them up and taking it from three to what seven right and then the way that he was able to interchange them and utilize them strategically in the fight it was super well done but our gang got so distracted i guess even sanji and even uh dr rain to the point where wapple's giant clanky ass was able to just walk right in good job guys Good job. I love that one of Luffy's weaknesses is just something cool. ADHD one is one of Luffy's primary weaknesses. The chances of him being distracted in a fight are extremely high. And then just back home, Dalton waking up, The even like the effects, even though right now Wapple isn't in their immediate vicinity, so the, the 20 MDs are free to kind of be doctors. So they have this opportunity to not be directly under his thumb. And after what happened with... Uh, here, Luke, they are, they're like, hey, we're still doctors. We can't let that guy show us up and carrying on that spirit and that hope and helping revive Dalton in his condition. So we also have no clue what's going on. Still a funny little gag. Somebody should fill him in. Also, at the same point, uh, I feel like at this point, if you're seeing your team go so hard for some guy like this, you should probably just 
roll with it and ask questions later, but Zoro's a little bit of an idiot, so it, it's okay. But he's a good looking idiot. And now the crew is heading up to back everybody up, up on the mountains. And that's kind of where we're at. But that all said, it's kind of all I got on that one. Let's go ahead and hop into episode 89. Here we go. Oh no. Well, you say that, but... Yeah, you, you've missed a couple of things. Rude. <laughs> Oh, oh, he didn't buy it at all. I was like, how is this going to fall apart? Oh my god. Oh, I just noticed he detransformed. Ah, get fucked. But he can just eat it though, right? He Wait. What? He turned into a bucket. Oh, whoa. Slim Wupple. He can restructure his own, like, body. What the hell? I mean, I guess that's what he was doing before with the stuff he would eat. But like, the, God damn. Not gonna lie. I'm honestly kind of surprised Luffy wasn't like, who are you? I'm looking for this other guy and just walk off. Mm. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. She's just manipulating everybody on the crew to owe her money. Like, we got Zoro and his, what, 300,000 or whatever? Oh. Whoa. Nami? Did she snag the key? Or did he drop the key? Oh my god, he's just gonna run off. Dude, fuck this guy. I've got another trump card. What? What else do you have? Oh, she was hoping it was for treasure. Oh god, that was mildly terrifying. Wow. Hey, nice try at least, I guess. Ten Titan Royal Crown Seven Barrel Cannon. Well, you gonna eat it or just use it? Well, that answers my question. It also is a hippo. Probably, uh, probably needs some maintenance after all of these years. Man, his entire scheme is just falling apart. Oh. Oh, that's that's how they get to and from the place. Then that's her rope. God, this guy is such a dickhead. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
No, you don't. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Luffy. <laughs> I don't care if you're king or god. Oh, oh, whoa. God, this guy has a lot up his sleeve. Well, more like up his mouth. Whatever. I'll make sure to end this country. Wow. Um... He's gonna blow the castle up. I don't think she'd appreciate that much. Let alone how it's a home for all these birds. It is a symbol of all that, though. Ah, uh, sucker! Wow, can you imagine the amount of torque that would have? Ha! Look at it, just look at it, mocking you. <laughs> That's one hell of a bazooka he's building up. Vice King. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Serious power activated. The fuck is this? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, was he just immediately <laughs> attacking? Did he think they were back up? Yeah, he didn't know it was them. Oh, okay, that makes sense. He was wearing their uniform. I love it. Every time they take the wind out of his sails, man, it's so funny. <laughs> We're attacked by a huge condor on the way up. <laughs> それで奴の幹部2人は。トナカイがぶっ飛ばした。トナカイ、トナカイ。あ。うん、今日はチャーフォー you fucking doofus. うん。そうか。あれからずっと戦ってくれていたんだな。<laughs> <laughs> 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 Look at him slowly slinking behind the tree trunk. Don't you say it. Don't you say it. Usopp, no! Stop! Bad! What? Luffy, you're yelling monster now. Stop! He's got a name! Mm. Mm. 
That was cute. God, our gang is so stupid sometimes, though. Usopp had to go and ruin that. The townsfolk, I get. I mean, to be fair, Usopp, I also kind of get. But then again, Screaming Monster, what's just essentially a cute little reindeer stuffed animal is a, a little ridiculous. But that's what happens, man. Luffy, like, all this time, like, Dalton was so scared of Wapple returning to that castle and things going back to the way they were that he was going to go in and destroy it himself along with himself. But... He didn't have to do any of that because, lo and behold, Wapple's a little dumbass. And Luffy made him look like a straight-up fool. And so did the whole crew, just basically a, a, the whole way through. You know, he got a... I, I would like to say that he got a, a good hit at all, but he really, at the end of the day, all he did, the most that he did, was mess up Nami's jacket. He got his ass beat. He got his key stolen by Nami because she thought it would maybe unlock some hidden treasure. You know, he, he was like inches away from potentially unlocking an army in a whole other form we never even got to see. That he's like, hey, it'd be super scary if uh, he transforms into this. So absorbs all these weapons and then becomes this ultimate murder machine. But then no. And then he goes up and I was like, oh yeah, well my ultimate secret weapon. And then it's just plugged up with a bird's nest. So it didn't work at all. And Luffy just continues to beat his ass. I mean, he's got some interesting abilities, but in this situation against this crew, it just, it didn't matter. I think it's funny that he could just make himself skinny if he wants to, too. When I think really, like, he just made himself taller. Like he said, he just reconstructed his bone structure. So he just basically just elongated his skeleton. So it just kind of stretched him out. I'm pretty sure he was probably the same mass. You know, Nami's finally coming around, healing up. You know, we focused in on Vivi and just how big a heart she has. She's worrying for... Too many people, you know, at this case. Like, she's got worried about Dalton, worried about the people, worried about Nami, worried about Alabasta. She's worrying about Luffy, about the gang. She's just, her, she, she's just constantly in a state of worrying about others to the point where she's not really taking care of herself that well. And I like that we kind of highlighted that a little bit. I, I don't know. And this idea of just how much of an impact, regardless of how effective of a doctor he was, whatever. It's just his spirit, how infectious Luke's spirit was and how much of an impact his death, his way of thinking and viewing the world, his sacrifice, all that, how big of an impact that left upon the people that survived him, whether it be Chopper, whether it be uh, Dalton, whether it be the townsfolk, whether it even be the 20 MDs or Doctorine herself. You know, his sacrifice, his outlook, his inspiration, his optimism, it motivated them to kind of persevere and strive to do better and make something out of this place once Walpo left. And it just, uh, they were worried about that being undone once his return came. Our guys had a little something to say about that. And it was just so, I don't know, it was just so much fun. You know, Chopper making a friend, finally. A genuine friend here and then this idea of the pirate flag that it stands for faith because if somebody's waving it that means they are willing to put their life on the line and is putting their faith in what they believe in uh and proving that faith if they're willing to risk their lives for it and that you know somebody just waving it just willy-nilly can't understand that and it's just a disrespect to that and it goes the same i think for him as a ruler of the country he didn't take it seriously all it was was something on something serving himself, you know, he had no care at all about the people that he actually ruled the country. You know, we haven't done this in a minute, but I, I haven't looked at any of the titles for any of these previous episodes. So I'm just kind of curious what some of them are. So let's go back. I'm curious here. Episode 87 was Fight Wapple's Crew, The Power of the Munch Munch Fruit. Hey, one that's actually not that spoiler filled. 88 was zone type devil fruit chopper seven form transformation. That, however, definitely gave away the twist there. <laughs> what about 89? When the kingdom's rule ends, the flag of faith flies forever. Not a huge spoiler other than that the conflict seems to resolve in this episode, which I guess that's what it's implying here. I think we'll have like our epilogue episodes in the next couple. You know, chopper will get his sales pitch to come join us out on the high seas, which is something that's been set up here. Luke told him, he's like, hey, I hope one day you go out there and you get to see the world, see sail the open seas, meet all these wonderful wild people. And yeah, so it's definitely something that's been set up. And I think he's finally, 
you know, going to find a place and a moment and an opportunity to just finally be comfortable doing that after all of this. The 20 EMDs are now free of Waffle. I mean, he's still out there somewhere. He may come back or who knows, maybe we'll hit the ocean somewhere and just sink because there's no one around to save him now. But it's One Piece. Like, he's, they haven't killed really many people uh, most people that have died have only died in flashbacks. I, don't, I wonder if he'll will ever see this guy again. I think we'll get an episode or two to wrap things up. Resolve Nami's illness, Sanji's uh, incapacitated nature, his fucked up back, all that. And then give Chopper our sales pitch, recruit him onto the ship. And then once we're back on the ship with everybody else and uh, Nami's all ready to go, then it's on to Alabasta to finally continue all of that. Um, I really like this island. It was just so sweet. Chopper's entire story and Hero Luke is just so endearing, so emotionally charged. I, I, I really, I really dug it. One Piece has some really, really emotional backstories for a lot of its characters right now, man. And I uh, can't wait to see what, you, what the next one is to fuck me up. So we'll, we'll wait and see. But another solid set of episodes, guys. But I want to know what you guys thought. So sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry in the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, Leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Gummarrel the channel gives you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, your course gone, Melito, Robert Anguillona, Jeffrey Hale, Jane Contrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, and Russell Crockett. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.